Good morning, it is July 17th, and we're starting at 1 Chronicles chapter 24, the first number 1. Now these are the divisions of the sons of Aaron. The sons of Aaron were Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar, and Nadab and Abihu died before their father and had no children. Therefore Eleazar and Ithamar ministered as priests. Then David with Zadok of the sons of Eleazar and Ahimelech of the sons of Ithamar divided them according to the schedule of their service. There were more leaders found of the sons of Eleazar than of the sons of Ithamar, and thus they were divided. Among the sons of Eleazar were sixteen heads of their father's houses, and eight heads of their father's houses among the sons of Ithamar. Thus they were divided by lot, one group as another. For there were officials of the sanctuary and officials of the house of God, from the sons of Eleazar and from the sons of Ithamar. And the scribe Shemaiah, the son of Nethanel, one of the Levites, wrote them down before the king, the leaders, Zadok the priest, Ahimelech the son of Abiathar, and the heads of the fathers' houses of the priests, and Levites, one father's house taken for Eleazar, and one for Ithamar. Now the first lot fell to Jehoiarib, the second to Jediah, the third to Hiram, the fourth to Seorim, the fifth to Malkijah, the sixth to Majamim, the seventh to Hakaz, the eighth to Abijah, the ninth to Jeshua, the tenth to Shechaniah, the eleventh to Eliab, the twelfth to Jakim, the thirteenth to Hupa, the fourteenth to Jeshabib, the fifteenth to Bilgah, the sixteenth to Emer, the seventeenth to Hazir, the eighteenth to Hapiz, the nineteenth to Pethiah, the twentieth to Jezekel, the twenty-first to Jakin, the twenty-second to Gamul, the twenty-third to Deliah, the twenty-fourth to Maaziah. This was the schedule of their service for coming into the house of the Lord according to their ordinance by the hand of Aaron, their fathers, as the Lord God of Israel had commanded him. And the rest of the sons of Levi, of the sons of Amram, Shubel, of the sons of Shubel, Jediah, concerning Rehabiah, the sons of Rehabiah, the first was Esaiah, of the Ezrites, Shilomoth, of the sons of Shilomoth, Jehath, of the sons of Hebron, Jeriah was the first, Amariah the second, Jehaziel the third, and Jechamim the fourth, of the sons of Uziel, Micah, and of the sons of Micah, Shamir, the brother of Micah, Isar, Isaiah, of the sons of Isaiah, Zechariah, the sons of Merari were Mali and Mushi, the son of Jaaziah, Bino, the sons of Merari by Jehaziah were Bino, Shoham, Zikur, and Ibri. Of Mahali, Eleazar, who had no sons. Of Kish, the son of Kish, Jeremiel. And the sons of Mushi were Mali, Elder, and Jeremoth. These were the sons of the Levites according to their father's houses. These also cast lots, just as their brothers the sons of Aaron did in the presence of King David, Zadok, Ahimelech, and the heads of their fathers' houses of the priests and Levites. The, f the chief fathers did just as their younger brethren. Chapter 25 Moreover, David, the captain of the army, separated for the service some of the sons of Asaph, of Heman, and of Jeduthun, who should prophesy with harps, stringed instruments, and cymbals. And the number of the skilled men performing their service was of the sons of Asaph, Zakur, Joseph, Nethaniah, and Asherala. The sons of Asaph were under the direction of Asaph, the prof who prophesied according to the order of the king. Of Jeduthun, the sons of Jeduthun, Gedaliah, Zeri, Jeshiah, Shimei, Hashabiah, and Mattatiah, six under the direction of the father Jeduthun, who prophesied with a harp to give thanks and praise to the Lord of Heman, the sons of Heman, 
Bukaya, Mataniah, Uziel, Shabuel, Jeremoth, Hananiah, Hanai, Eliathoth, Gidalti, Romati, Ezer, Joshbek, Asha, Malatai, Hathar, and Mahazav. All these were sons of Heman, the king's seer, and the words of God to exalt his horn. For God gave Heman fourteen sons and three daughters. All these were under the direction of their father for the music in the house of the Lord, with cymbals, stringed instruments, and harps for the service of the house of God. Asaph, Jedathan, and Heman were under the authority of the king. So the number of them with their brethren, who were instructed in the songs of the Lord, all who were skilled, was two hundred and eighty-eight. And they cast lots for their duty, the small as well as the great, the teacher with the student. Now the first lot for Asaph came out, of jo out for Joseph, the second for Gedaliah, him with his brethren and sons, twelve. The third for Zakur and his sons and his brethren, twelve. The fourth for Jizri, his sons and his brethren, twelve. The fifth for Nethaniah, his sons and his brethren, twelve. The sixth for Bukiah, his sons and his brethren, twelve. The seventh for Jeshariah, his sons and his brethren, twelve. The eighth for Jeshahiah, his sons and his brethren, twelve. The ninth for Mataniah, his sons and his brethren, twelve. The tenth for Shimei, his sons, and his brethren, twelve. The eleventh for Azarel, his sons, and his brethren, twelve. The twelfth for Hashabiah, his sons, and his brethren, twelve. The thirteenth for Shubael, his sons, and his brethren, twelve. The fourteenth for Matathaniah, his sons, and his brethren, twelve. The fifteenth for Jeremoth, his sons, and his brethren, twelve. The sixteenth for Hananiah, his sons and his brethren twelve, the seventeenth for Joshbek saw his sons and his brethren twelve, the eighteenth for Hanani, his sons and his brethren twelve, the nineteenth for Malathai, his sons and his brethren twelve, the twentieth for Eliathoth, his sons and his brethren twelve, the twenty first for Hathir, his sons and his brethren twelve, the twenty second for Gedalti, his sons, and his brethren, twelve. The twenty-third for Mahazoth, his sons, and his brethren, twelve. The twenty-fourth for Romanti, Ezer, his sons, and his brethren, twelve. Chapter twenty-six. Concerning the divisions of the gatekeepers of the Korathites, Meshelamiah, the son of Kore, of the sons of Asaph, and the sons of Meshelamiah were Zechariah the firstborn, Jediel the second, Zebediah the third, Jathaniel the fourth, Elam the fifth, Jehohanah the sixth, Eliohanai the seventh. Moreover, the sons of Obed Edom were Shemaiah the firstborn, Jehozabad the second, Jonah the third, Sakar the fourth, Nathaniel the fifth, Amiel the sixth, Issachar the seventh, Puoltai the eighth, for God blessed him. Also to Shemaiah his sons, his son were sons born who governed their father's houses, because they were men of great ability. The sons of Shemaiah were Othni, Raphael, Obed, and Elizabeth whose brothers were Elihu and Samachiah, were able men. All these were the sons of Obed-Edom. They and their sons and their brethren, able men, with strength for work, sixty-two of Obed-Edom. And Meshulamiah had sons and brethren, eighteen able men. And Hosha of the children of Merari had his sons, Shimri, the first for the the first, for though he was not the firstborn, his father made him the first. Hilkiah the second, Tibaliah the third, Zechariah the fourth, and all the sons and brethren of Hosa were thirteen. Romans chapter four, verse one.
What then shall we say that Abraham our father has found according to the flesh? For if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast about, but not before God. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Now to him who works the wages are not counted as grace, but as debt. But to him who does not work, but believes on him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is accounted for righteousness. Just as David also describes the blessedness of the man whom God imputes righteousness to part from works. Blessed are those whose lawless deeds are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man who the Lord shall not impute sin. Does this blessedness then come upon the circumcision only or upon the uncircumcised also? For we say that faith was accounted to Abraham for righteousness. Now then, was it accounted while he was circumcised or uncircumcised? Not while circumcised, but while uncircumcised. And he received the sign of circumcision, a seal of the righteousness of the faith which he had while still uncircumcised, that he might be father of all those who believe. Though they are uncircumcised, the righteousness might be imputed to them also, and the father of circumcision to those who not only are of the circumcision, but who also walk in the steps of faith, which our father Abraham had while still uncircumcised. Psalm 13, verse 1. To the chief musician, a psalm of David. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long will my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Lord, my God. Enlighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest my enemy say I have prevailed against him. Lest those who trouble me rejoice when I am moved. But I have trusted in your mercy. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. Proverbs 19 verse 15. Laziness casts one down into a deep sleep. And an idle person will suffer hunger. But he who keeps the commandment keeps his soul. But he who is careless of his ways will die. Father, we thank you for your word this morning. I pray that it would just wash over us. Lord, thank you that we are justified by faith, not by works, but by faith. Lord, and we just praise you for all that you're doing this morning, for your hand at work in our lives. And we can always look back and see your faithfulness to us. And Lord, we just pray that you would pour out your spirit, that you would fill us to overflowing, that our lives would be witnesses to the lost and dying world around us. And Lord, we pray for our nation, Lord. We need healing. We need you in such a bad way, Lord. We have sinned. We are guilty before you, a holy God. And Lord, we pray that you would just forgive us, forgive us our sin, and God, would you cause a revival within the church, Lord, that we would, as a church, Lord, turn from sin, turn to your word, just be obedient to it. And Lord, we pray as a nation that we would repent of our sin. Lord, that, Lord, you would cause an awakening among the lost, that many, many people would be saved, and Lord, you would just change the face of our country. And Lord, we also lift up the nation of Israel. We pray that you would just heal over there. Lord, we pray that you would protect the nation. And Lord, we pray that you would just bless your people. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys.